Hey everyone, it is well, it's sunny out. I mean, it just it actually feels pretty nice out here. Here we are, the first day of February in Illinois in the winter time here. You know, I mean, this is what we deal with. So. <laughs> but anyway, I am here with two mini folding electric bikes, and these are very similar to each other. And these are probably two that, if you're looking at a, a bike in this category, uh, these are probably the two that you're going to be trying to decide between. So I wanted to do a review of these and kind of see what the differences are. Um, obviously, in appearance, they're very similar. If you take a look at the frames, kind of have that same contour. Uh, they both have the rear suspension, which I really like. Um, I definitely like that. Uh, they're very comfortable to ride, uh, even though they do have the smaller 16-inch wheels. This really makes a big difference. Uh, one thing I do like about the Swagtron here um, is this built-in handle that is very handy when you're folding the bike or just kind of carrying it up and down stairs. Uh, it doesn't have that on the, the Jupiter, but there's things I like about it too. So we'll get to that. Uh, but right off the bat, both of these have 350 watt motors and 36 volt batteries. I believe the battery in the Swagtron is just a little bit, the amp hour is a little bit higher, but there's really not a big difference between them as far as that goes. Um, as far as the gearing goes, uh, here, of course, obviously in the EV7, it kind of says it in its name. It does have seven gears. Um, and then over here, the X5 only has a single gear. Uh, but honestly, I think the gear ratio on these bikes is better on the X5. Um, I can get a higher top speed out of it when I'm pedaling, probably about, uh, about 15 miles per hour or so. Uh, with the Swagtron, uh, the highest I can pedal along with it is probably about 12 miles per hour. And then after that, you're just kind of hamster wheeling it. Um, I, do, I just think the programming on this, I just enjoy this bike more um, as far as pedaling. Because I can get my cadence up to what I like about, oh, I don't know, 13, 14 miles per hour. is about usually what I'm riding and whatever bike I'm riding. And so it's very natural for me. This feels just more pleasant to ride uh, with the Swagtron. It's kind of has these surges. Um, you know, both of them have... Uh, three levels of pedal assist and they will max out at those various levels um but this kind of this seems like it kind of surges up to those that high speed whatever that cap is say it's like 12 miles per hour once you start off it'll tick after that and then well then you try to pedal faster and it doesn't let you um and then the motor, motor shuts off and then you do that again you just like a surge and then motor turns off surge again the motor turns off not so much with this of course that's going to do this a little bit but it's just a smoother it is smoother. It is a little more refined. Uh, but that doesn't mean this is a piece of junk. <laughs> I do like this bike. Um, I just kind of like the, the pedaling experience on the Discovery X5 better. Um, what else am I going to get into? Oh, both of them have front headlights. Uh, these are integrated into the battery. Uh, these are LED, LED headlights. Um, one thing I do prefer on the X5 here is that when you turn, the light turns with you because it's attached to the fork. Over here on the uh, Swagtron, it's attached to the frame. So um, even when you're turning, obviously the light's just going to be pointing whatever direction the frame's pointed. Um, as I said, these are folding bikes. Um, both of them fold really nicely, nice and com compact. I can definitely get them to pack in my car pretty easily. Um, I think, believe the X5 here is about two and a half pounds or so lighter than the uh, uh, EB7 over there. Although I probably added that back with this rear rack. Uh, this didn't come with the bike. Um, I added this as an, a, an accessory, uh, but it did come with the front front and rear fenders. Um, I haven't been able to find those uh, for the swag. Um, I've kind of looked online. I just haven't been able to find them or a rear rack that goes with this. Um, so there is more accessories available, it seems like, for the Jupiter bike. Uh, but it looks like to me, it looks like these fenders would probably work on the Swagtron to me. So maybe you can get ones that are made for the Jupiter bike and put them on the Swagtron. They look like they would work. Um, okay. I'm going through this fast. <laughs> it's cold out here. Um, I, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because I really want to wait till I to do a serious comparison between the two when I take them on longer rides. Um, I haven't been able to do that, obviously, because of the weather. And I just got this uh, X5 yesterday and I've had this for a couple weeks, the Swagtron. Um, but I do want to get some range tests and just kind of longer test because uh, things can change once you uh, kind of experience the bike more your opinion of it can definitely change but overall uh, both of them I I do like both of them uh, I think if you're looking at this price point I think the Swagtron goes for about 700 uh, Jupiter bike I've seen it 
down as low as like 400 and something up to like 800 so the price varies a lot with the, the x5 here depending upon where you're going to be buying it from and if it's and, and how many are left in stock and i know i'm missing a lot of stuff lots of similarities they both have the collapsing stems here i believe the stems a little bit higher on the uh the swagtron here like i said they both have three levels of pedal assist they both have twist throttles and the power is uh commensurate with, with um whatever level of pedal assist you're in so if you're in level one you only get up to that speed when you use the the throttle if you want to get the full throttle what it's capable of you have to put it up to the highest level of pedal assist um that's kind of that's okay. I mean, th this one does, it seems like it's like good cruise control though. I, I've noticed that when I'm riding it, once you start pedaling along at a certain speed and, and you stay there for a little bit, it just, it goes in cruise control. But then sometimes that's kind of scary too, because sometimes you don't want it to keep going that fast. Um, but more on that when we take it out. I know I'm going through this quickly. Uh, yeah. Oh, the seat here for the Jupiter bike does have a built-in light, which is kind of handy. Um, neither of them have uh, rear lights. Uh, but they do have, of course, the reflectors. Um, folding pedals, both of them have that. Chain guards um, for the chain ring. Uh, both the same there. Uh, quick release levers for the seat post. Got the horns. Got a horn over here. Oh, this horn's on this side. Hmm. like that um oh and they do have a uh, removable battery so if you when you unfold these uh you can get um uh, or when you do fold them no unfold them is it fold or unfold well, anyway when the frame is opened up you can get to the batteries and you can take it out and they do have keys so somebody can't just steal the, the battery out of it of course they can just steal the whole bike but <laughs> but that's very important i always recommend that when people are looking at electric bikes uh, to choose one that has a removable, a removable battery, and especially uh, one that you can find replacements for. Because, you know, five years from now, or maybe three years from now, who knows, you're going to need a replacement battery. Or just an extra one, you know, if you want extended range. So definitely take a look at that. Whenever, whatever electric bike you're looking at, you want to think about down the road um, if those parts are going to be available. Anyway, I'm I'm happy with both of them. Um, I think right my first impressions, I'm, I'm definitely leaning more towards the next five just because it does have those accessories that I like, um, and also just again the pedaling experience I think is just better. You get kind of that higher speed when you're pedaling. Um, the top speed on the throttles I think they're pretty similar. Um, I'm gonna have to do some testing on that. Yeah, but there they are. I'm gonna get inside here because it's kind of cold. <laughs> The sun is behind a cloud. But anyway, um, I checked in. I just want to check in with you. I got a lot coming this year. Several bikes I'm going to be reviewing. Um, been working on the site like crazy. And uh, a lot, a lot planned this year. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be much more active than in the past. So thanks so much for all your support. And uh, I know this is kind of probably kind of a crappy video. But <laughs> I just wanted to check in and show you what I'm doing, what I'm kind of up to. And uh, just... Let you know I'm still alive. Uh, thanks so much for watching and catch you next time.